here at Rock This Way School of Rock with Ross Monroe. Tell us a little bit about how this place started. Oh wow, how this place started. 20 years ago now, we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. This is amazing. I had uh, finished a career in the music industry as a um, artist manager and entertainment lawyer I was and uh, decided that it was time to teach kids how to rock. And the Jack Black movie had just come out, of course, so it was inspirational. Right, and here you are 20 years later with a plethora of programs that you offer. Can you walk us through some of those that people can take over here? We have rock band programs. We have uh, the typical lessons, but we have an entire artist development program where kids can, uh, and adults, can uh, get involved in songwriting, recording, so it's a full, uh, full offering, full gambit of possibilities, not just music lessons. Right. So when someone takes a lesson here in piano or vocals, what does that process look like? Tell us about that. Well, the one thing for sure is it's not cookie cutter. It's uh, it, every student is different, and we try to uh, emphasize this with our teachers. Everybody's different, but it's a song-based thing. We don't just pull out a book and start at lesson number one and then go through it because kids uh, don't last very long in that scenario usually. So we try to offer situations where we jam with a student, for example. Somebody comes in to learn how to play guitar. They start playing a couple of chords and the teacher gets up and jumps on the drums and starts jamming along with them. So it's, it's a really more, uh, in more involvement uh, for, the, for the student. And so our whole idea is to build uh, children and adults that play the music they want to play, and they play it for a long time. Obviously, if your teachers are jamming with students, they must know multiple instruments. What's important to you when selecting an instructor here? Well, the main thing is that they have to be enthusiastic and inspirational, because without that, you got nothing. So, of course, they're great musicians, and they have an expertise in one particular instrument, mostly, but they usually dabble in the other instruments enough that we can put uh, instruments in the room and they can uh, jump on different instruments at different times to give that kind of band feel to what kids are doing because they love playing with other people. That's why they join up in the first place so they can play in a band with somebody else and become a superstar, a rock this way superstar. Can you imagine? <laughs> it must feel so cool for students hearing multiple instruments in a room just feeling oh, yeah. like the real experience. Yeah, it's just when they light up, it's so rewarding for the teachers. And that's why we have teachers that stay a long time at Rock This Way because they really, really enjoy what they're doing. If people watching want to sign up to take one of the Rock This Way classes, where can they do that? Well, we have four fabulous locations. Oakville, the original, Burlington, the second one, Woodbridge and Thornhill. So any of those four locations can be, uh, can be contacted through our website, which is rockthisway.ca. So I'm a beginner and I'm not the first one to pick up an instrument and start playing, but what am I going to be playing today and what's the lesson gonna look like? Well, I've thought about this quite a bit leading up to this interview and I think you're a drummer. Okay. Yes, you're gonna play some drums today. And we brought in from one of the other locations, the one in uh, Woodbridge and Thornhill, which is run by Dan Walker. We've imported him specifically to teach you the drums today. So it's, he's a very important dignitary guest. That wow. We have. So get ready for some fun, I'll tell you. Well, I'm so excited to meet Dan. Thank you for bringing him in for me today. Drums wouldn't have been the thing that I would have picked out for myself, but I'm excited to get banging. <laughs> We are now here with Dan, my drum teacher for the day, and I'm excited. I've always wanted to sit in front of a drum set and just go crazy. But before we do that, what do I have to do first? So usually what we do is we just kind of want to see what you got. So why don't you just show me? Okay. Let's see what I got. One, two, three, four. Ow. I think we might be able to build upon it, but that was great, that was great. Um, do you want to take a look at the drum kit and start to put together a bit of a drum groove? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. 
Um, so first of all, do you know what you're looking at? You're sitting at a drum set. What uh, do you know the names of any of the pieces that you're uh, you're sitting behind? Well, my best guess would be that these are all cymbals, the shiny things, and then the rest are drums. <laughs> That's right. Yes, yeah, those are your two sort of families. Um, what we're gonna focus on today is we're gonna look at our bass drum, which is the the big one on the ground that your right foot is sitting on the pedal, and then we're gonna focus on the hi hat cymbal, which is just to your left. And then we're going to focus on the snare drum, which is sitting right in front of you. Um, and we're going to try to put together a little bit of a drum groove. Love that. Cool. Let's, uh, let's start with our right hand. And we're going to cross over top of the snare drum. And we're going to start to keep a little bit of time on our hi-hat. So we're going to count to four and just keep a nice steady groove like this. And I'll show you and then maybe you can uh, give it a try. Okay, so we're going to try to do that and just count to four. And I can help you with your counting if you like. So cross this over and four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. That easy, was awesome. Easy. Yeah, that was great. So why don't we build on that? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our left hand, we're gonna keep our right hand still over top. We're gonna take our left hand and we're gonna try to bring in what we call the back beat, which is on beat two and four. And it's gonna sound like this. Boom. Try it? Yeah. Okay, using two hands now. We're going to try to be a little bit more coordinated. We'll start with this one. Better Perfect. this time? Yeah, you Woo! did it. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. What do you think? Do you want to keep uh, making it a little bit trickier? I feel like I got the basics of that. What else can we add here? Okay, let's do it. Let's add in our bass drum. So our right foot, your foot should be sitting on the pedal right now. Mm -hmm. Let's add in our bass drum on beat one and beat three. So you're basically going to be alternating between your bass drum and your snare drum. Okay. You want to hear what it sounds like? Yes. Okay, here we go. So it's one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A little trickier. But I think I can do this. Okay. See, now we have three limbs going all at once. Focus, Christina. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ah. Okay, wait. So one and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, my, see the thing is my foot just keeps tapping. It's going, 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 going. For sure, it wants to go on every single beat. So you just have to separate them. That was good though. You had it going for a few bars for sure. Should we uh, just try to keep going and jam out and see if I can get this? I think we should try a little bit longer. Yeah, it's sounding okay. better every time. Let's do it guys. Drum montage, here we go. Stop moving. Ugh, I'm so mad at my leg. <sighs> Piss. rock this way right now we should probably end the lesson with the jam session love that idea let's meet my band
was absolutely incredible. I learned all of this in under an hour. If you wanna take lessons here, go to rockthisway.ca. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. What type of music are balloons afraid of? Pop music. What's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can't tune a fish. What do you call a cow that can play an instrument? A musician. What sort of music do you listen to in outer space? Neptunes. <laughs>